All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. Since we've just entered the new year, it's time for the yearly population levels update video. Now for the graphs on the website, you're gonna see these gray bars. For countries that did not actually have their graphs updated yet in these first few days, or on a longer line graph, you might see some weird divot that looks out of place, just like the gray bar does. That's because it is out of place. For graphs that have not updated to the new year yet, usually the site just generates the gray bar based on an algorithm. But anyway, starting with the US, going from 337 up to about 341 million, with a decent boost beyond what the otherwise normal would be, coming from the finalizing of a lot of immigration cases that were still backlogged from when everything was semi-shut back during the COVID years or COVID year and a half. China, having peaked at 1.413 billion, continues its decline from 1.409 down to roughly 1.405 or a bit below. Although as they did at the start of last year, they're likely going to redact that. India, having started last year off at 1.386, has, as of the start of this year, actually hit and passed 1.4 billion, whereas most news incorrectly reported it as doing so last year. Indonesia still climbing, but continuing to slow down, as they're now down from increasing by about three every year to increasing by about two and a half million every year, going from 278.7 up to now 281.2 million. Pakistan went from just under 241 up to now just above 245 million. Nigeria went from 223.8 up to now 227, up to now 227.8, as they are also no longer increasing as fast as they were initially expected to, since Nigeria's fertility rate is actually almost down to four, whereas it was previously believed to still be up above five. Just before the start of last year, Brazil had previously been believed to be at about 214 million. Their full census initially came in, showing them as actually only at 203. But as I suspected, there were a lot of uh, revisions and corrections to come from that. And it turned out that they were most likely around 210 or so instead. Now at the start of this year, they are at 212.6. Bangladesh had a finalized census correction where they had also turned out to be a bit lower than they thought, just not by a huge amount. They had previously been believed to be above 171, but turned out to only be at 170.8, and that was at the start of last year. Now they are at 173.4 million. Russia's actual population has declined down to 142 million. However, some other independent Russian demographers, like Roshka, have said that it's probably more around 140.8. The Russian government insists, as of the start of this year, that it is still 145.2. However, the Russian government has insisted a lot of things, like that their fertility rate has remained at 1.41 and has not gone down for a number of years now, totally unaffected by the current situation and Russia's decisions over the last few years. Mexico went up from 128.5 to 129.7. Ethiopia's official number went from 126.5 to 128.6, but I assume this is everyone finally actually factoring in the million plus dead people from the whole Civil War and Tigray genocide stuff earlier in the 2020s by essentially just subtracting one off of the 3 million per year that Ethiopia's population would normally grow by. Japan continues going down its steady decline slope from 124.3 at the start of last year down to 123.2 million at the start of this year. With their with their overall future projection looking something like this. Not as bad as, say, South Korea's, which will look something like this. If you want to see these various projections, 
you can follow this link to go catch a quick run through video including those or you can go through the link in the description to the google drive the philippines went from most likely has not been finalized yet 111.9 up to only 112.6 million instead of it would have otherwise probably been 112.8 as the number of children born in the philippines is plummeting rapidly egypt climbing from 105.9 up to 107.3 million vietnam from 100.3 million up to 101.3 congo the big Congo, the giant unstable Congo where all the cobalt is, not the smaller stable Congo, but the big one, still definitively lower than most sites are still going to show it, and especially most population clocks. But last year, during 2024, it did exceed 100 million, going from just under 99 up to now 102.7. Turkey continues its rapidly slowing population climb through the mid, now into upper 80s, now reaching 86.2. Iran, same story, and now over the course of last year to the start of this year, coming up to a bit under 86 million. Germany starting to drop down again after being able to hold themselves off from a number of different immigrant waves. Most recently, the big boost coming from Ukrainians who decided to stay in Germany, but from a combination of the ongoing decline Germany would be having otherwise, and from some people who had moved to Germany continuing to move on to other countries from there, Germany has gone from 84.7 down to 84.5 million as of the start of this year. France continuing to climb up by just a bit, and nearing the point where it's going to plateau off soon going from 68.14 up to 68.37 million. The UK, essentially, same story, going from 68.27 up to 68.5 million. Tanzania, going from a bit under 66 up to about 67.5 million. Thailand, continuing on its decline and beginning to pick up speed a bit, going from 66.05 down to 65.97 million. South Africa continuing on a steady slash gradually slowing climb, going from 62.2 up to 63 million. Italy, after having immigration primarily from Ukrainian refugees, was able to stall its decline for a bit at 59, but now they've tipped back over into resuming their decline, going from 59 down to 58.9 million. Myanmar, with most sites continuing to just run it algorithmically upwards, has actually been flatlined for the last couple of years because of the Civil War, and they are around 54 million still, this time coming in most likely at 54.13. Kenya climbing from 51.5 up to 52.4, and entering a slowdown soon as they are now as they're actually one of the lowest in Africa, with their fertility rate now under 3, coming in most recently at 2.7 children per woman. Colombia, going from 52.21 up to 52.7. South Korea, after having a one-year reversal last year, from 51.67 up to 51.71, now has resumed dropping and taken a bigger dip from 51.71 down to 51.43 million. Argentina continuing to climb, but continuing to slow down. As you can see, their fertility rate is going for the floor. Over 2024, they climbed from 46.66 up to 47.07 million. Algeria climbed from 45.6 up to 46.2 million. Spain managed to draw it out with another immigration boost avoiding their otherwise decline and bumping themselves up a bit from 48.59 to 48.94 million. Uganda, their formerly just assumed population of nearing 50, has turned out as of an actual census and survey to be more around just under 46 million. Ukraine had been down to 41 just before the war. In the immediate few months after the invasion, it dropped down to 31 or 32, as 8 plus million people fled the country. And then between 5 and 6 million of those returned, and a few hundred thousand a year have re left since then, 
along with the deaths, both military and civilian casualties, like the 100k plus in Mariupol, and obviously like the rest of gloomer doomer Eastern Europe, they were already going through natural population decline anyways. And now their population is at around 37 million. Poland, once up close to 40, is continuing on their load decline as immigration to Poland, as opposed to out of Poland, has actually been helping to keep the decline rate from what it otherwise would be, most of those being from Ukraine. They still declined last year from 36.75 down to 36.62 million. Morocco climbed from 37.02 up to 37.39. Canada, after having the huge immigration surge the previous year from 39.29 up to 40.8, had still climbed faster than it otherwise would have last year, but at less than half the speed of the prior year, going from 40.8 up to 41.47 million. Uzbekistan went from 36.02 to 36.8 million. Iraq was believed at the start of last year to be at 45.5, and would have thus been assumed to be at about 46.4 or 46.5 now. However, finally taking an actual census and population survey for the first time in quite a long number of years, actually, Iraq's population has turned out to now be 45.5, or actually 45.4 million as of the start of this year. Angola climbed from 36.7 up to 37.8 million. Ghana from 34.12 up to 34.61 Peru from 33.73 up to 34.04. Malaysia from 33.4 up to 33.56. Cote d'Ivoire from 31 up to 31.5. Mozambique from 32.42 up to 33.35. Venezuela just displaying false numbers, still refusing to acknowledge the fact that over 7 million people have fled the country over the last five years or so, or over the last uh, seven years or so, rather. So they're claiming no one ever left, their fertility rate never dropped when the country collapsed, and that they're at like 34 million or something. In reality, they were at 31. In reality, they were getting close to 31 before the collapse, dropped as low as 26 or 27 following the collapse, and have resumed increasing since then but have only made it back up to 29.4 now. Niger climbed by a million again from 27.2 up to 28.2 million. Taiwan, after having a one-year boost like South Korea did, has dropped down from 23.42 to 23.32 million this year. Kazakhstan, after getting a big boost the last couple years, primarily from Russians fleeing Russia, has slowed back down to close to normal going from 20.03 up to 20.3 million this year. Chile has now crossed over 20 million, going from 19.96 up to 20.09. And they will be leveling off and peaking rather soon, as their fertility rate is now all the way down at 0.88 children per woman. Nederland is almost at 18, going from 17.81 up to 17.94. Ecuador went from 18.19 up to 18.32 million. Romania has managed to hold off their decline and stay flat for a couple of years, primarily because of Ukrainian refugees deciding to stay. And actually went up by 10,000 over 2024, from 19.05 to 19.06 million. Cuba, as I said, finally admitted to the fact that over a million people have fled the island over the last two or three years, and instead of 11 million, they admitted during the middle of last year that they were down to only 10.06, and now, as of the start of this year, they are down to under 10 million at 9.94 million. Somalia continues going up from 18.1 to 18.7 million. Greece continues on its decline, dropping from 10.4 down to now 10.24 million. Belgium continues meagerly climbing from 11.74 up to 11.83, and they'll be plateauing and peaking soon like many other European nations. Belarus has picked up decline speed, 
both from natural decline and from people managing to flee, dropping further this year or as of the start of this year from 9.16 down to 9.02 million. Serbia continuing its decline, going from 6.64 down to 6.61 million. A little bit slower than it otherwise would have been, primarily because of Russians fleeing Russia and deciding to stay in Serbia. Tunisia continuing to plateau out, barely increasing over the last few years, going from 11.8 up to 11.85, and now from 11.85 up to 11.89 million. Portugal continuing immigration-driven jumps and going from 10.52 up to 10.64 million. Sweden continuing to level out now and slowing down quick, having gone from 10.45 up to 10.52 now only going from 10.52 up to 10.55 million. The Czech Republic, after having big jumps previously in the last couple of years, now slowing to a halt as well, only going from 10.88 up to 10.9 flat million. Hungary, continuing its decline, going from 9.6 down to a flat 9.5 million. Sri Lanka, continuing its decline as well, primarily driven by the fact that the country collapsed in 2021 and has been seeing a decent rate of net outward migration since then, having gone from a peak of 22.18 down to 22.04 and now down to 21.9 million. Costa Rica slowing down rapidly as their fertility rate is close to one now, going from 5.26 up to a flat 5.3 million. Norway climbing a tiny bit from 5.49 up to 5.51 million. Ireland continuing to go upwards at a quicker pace from 5.27 up to now 5.34 million. And lastly, at least for those that are included in this video, Panama. Panama going from 4.46 up to now a flat 4.5 million. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description, like I said, to a Google Drive. There's a link to my photography Instagram as well. There's a link to my Snats YouTube channel in the top and comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you around next time.